Auto IM608 slash IM508 update. Add BMW G Series BDC3 key made easy. Hi everyone, this is Hussein, and welcome back to Bob G Motors, your ultimate destination for everything related to car diagnostics and programming. Now, before we dive into today's exciting update, a quick heads up this video is purely for educational and informational purposes. Everything you see here is meant to guide technicians, learners, and auto enthusiasts alike. We respect all copyrights and trademarks, and everything shown falls under fair use for review and learning. So remember, always follow manufacturer guidelines and local laws when working on vehicles. Here's a question for you right away. Have you ever tried programming a BMW key yourself and wondered if it's actually as simple as people make it sound? Drop your thoughts in the comments because I'm really curious about your experiences. And speaking of support, I have a little challenge for you all. Let's hit 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments in the next 24 hours. While you're at it, hype this video using the option in the comments section. It's fun, free, and helps everyone see this video. And if this video adds value, a super thanks would mean the world to me. Now let's jump right into it. Auto has just rolled out a brand new update, and it's a big one. For the first time, the update brings the add key function for BMW G Series BDC 3 immobilizer systems. This means technicians and DIY enthusiasts with the right tools can now add keys to certain BMW G chassis models directly using Auto IM508S, IM6082, or Otafix IM Series devices equipped with XP400, XP400 Pro, or XP1 Pro programmers. Later on, the Otafix IM1 and IM2 series will also receive this update. The update, version 4.70 released on September 3rd, 2025, specifically focuses on BMW IMMO systems. It adds the add key function for BDC03 immobilizers across a wide range of G chassis vehicles, covering model years from 2020 to 2024. Here's a detailed breakdown. For the BDC03 system, the update supports two series with chassis codes G42 and G87 from 2020 to 2024, three series including G20, G21, G28, G81, and G80 from 2020 to 2024. Four series covering G22, G23, G26, G82, and G83 from 2020 to 2024. Five series with G30, G31, and G60 from 2020 to 2024. Six series G32 from July 2020 to June 2024. Seven series G11, G12, and G70 from 2020 to 2024. 8 Series G14, G15, and G16 from 2020 to 2024. X3 G01, G08, and G45 from 2020 to 2024. X4 G02 from 2020 to 2024. X5 G05 from 2020 to 2024. X6 G06 from 2020 to 2024. X7G07 from 2020 to 2024. Z4G29 from 2020 to 2024. For BCP systems, the update supports. 2 Series U06 from 2021 to 2024. Original car keys with UWB functionality are not supported. X1U11 from 2022 to 2024. X1U12 from 2023 to 2024. X2U10 from 2022 to 2024. X5G18 from 2022 to 2024. A couple of important points. To add a BDC3 key for BMW G chassis vehicles, a BMW G chassis subscription is still required. The IMMO One Erupt card now provides comprehensive coverage for the add key function on BMW G chassis vehicles with either BDC02 or BDC03 systems. Importantly, the system reads the immobilizer data from the original key rather than directly from the BDC3 module, which makes the process safer. You also need an Auto BMW ICI Universal Smart Key for generating dealer keys. Currently, the add key function works only for some BDC3 models, especially those with model years between 2020 and 2024, 
and vehicles marked with Hungary in the upper right corner tend to have a higher success rate. So how do you actually add a BMW G Series BDC3 key using Auto? Let's break it down step by step. Step one, smart mode and vehicle scan. Start by selecting smart mode on your device and scanning the BMW BDC3 immobilizer module. Then choose the add key function. Step two, read vehicle and key data. Read the vehicle information first. Next, you need to read the original key data. This requires disassembling the original key. There are three ways to connect the keyboard to the XP400 Pro programmer. One, using the APB113 adapter, which is included in the IMKPA kit. This is the most stable method for reading data. Two, using a wiring harness to connect the key. Three, using a solder-free clip to establish the connection. Once connected via the APB113 adapter, the key data can be safely read. Step three, generate dealer key. Place the auto BMW A key on the coil of the XP400 Pro and then start the key generation process. This will create a new working key ready for use. And that's the full process. It's amazing to see how far key programming has come. What used to be a complex dealer only procedure can now be done with the right tools and software. Now let's wrap this up. The answer to our intro question is, Yes, with the right auto tools and this new update, programming a BMW G Series key yourself is not only possible, but also safer than ever. Personally, I think this update is a huge step for independent technicians and small workshops. It really opens up more possibilities for efficient BMW servicing. Before you go, I want to hear from you. Have you tried adding a BMW key yourself, or are you planning to try it now? Share your experiences in the comments below. And here's a fun tip. Always keep a backup original key handy when performing key programming. It can save you hours of trouble if something goes wrong. Finally, don't forget our challenge. 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments in 24 hours. Subscribe if you haven't, drop a comment, share the video, hit that super thanks if you feel like it, and hype this video to help others discover it. Thanks again for watching. And as always, keep learning, keep exploring, and happy diagnosing.